<laughs> turned to bossing up. Over 97 right. <laughs> million people have watched this hip hop classic video, Hustlin'. And now the creative force behind it has a fresh take on Hustlin' in the form of a new book. It's called The Perfect Way to Boss Up A Hustler's Guide to Building Your Empire. And he joins us now once again. Let's welcome <laughs> back the man himself, entrepreneur, New York Times bestselling author, rapper, Ricky Ross. Young fella, how you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm wonderful, brother. Thank you for having me. Thank you all for having me. Let's start as we did the last time you're on our show. You famously start your day every day with a glass of rosé. Mm. Are you starting your, your day today as well with a glass of rosé? Celebrating the release of the new book, I actually uh. started it with a glass of cognac. Oh, okay. <laughs> He stepped I, it up. I started it with the best cognac in the world, Guillaume. <laughs> right, he stepped it up this time, bro. Yeah, he classed it up a little, right? Yes, he's celebrating. So, so why, man? People want to boss up, and they want to boss up like you. We had a picture earlier of you, you sitting at a table with stacks of cash. We can't all boss up like that. So, so why, why write a book? Are we going to get to that level? Most definitely, we, we, we will, because that's where I began at. At 13, I was washing cars at the car wash. I was working on roofs. I was cutting grass, whatever it was. And here I am now. You know, we in the three comma club. And I just want to make sure I let everybody know that this is all a reality. This is a, a real possibility. You just can't stop. You have to set your vision and don't stop and don't quit for nothing. I love it. I, and you use your own life, as you just did, uh, as an example to how to do that. And you actually have what you call your boss commandment. So if you would, give us a few of your top tips. Well, I just believe in taking advantage of all your time. I really believe that time is the most valuable asset we will ever have. I wake up 6 a.m. every morning and, you know, I keep track of the things I spend my time on. Because at the end of the day, I, I should focus on what's going to um, help me progress the most. What can I cut back? You know, what can I work out of my schedule? And I think that's something that we should all do. And I speak of that in my book. How does it help you move forward? You had a lot of time. Well, a lot of people did, but you, you didn't, you weren't touring, you weren't traveling. The pandemic, did, did that help you actually to make moves given you had time to stop and sit and think and create? Well, most definitely, you know, coming into the pandemic is what inspired this book because I began spending more time on social media. I would get four and 5,000 questions every day. And the majority of the same question is, Ross, how did you do it? Ross, how did you boss up? I want to boss up. And so I said, let's put together the boss commandments and give them the concepts and approaches of understanding different things like partnerships, going above and beyond when you have certain responsibilities. And so I touched on all these different things and I think it'll help a lot of different, you know, different people. Yeah, no, it certainly will. We got the getting up before 6 a.m. thing covered, we but we have it. some more to learn from you uh, in the book. We also have some, some new music coming from you. Is this, this is your 11th solo album. Tell us about it. My 11th solo album, I'm actually putting the final touches on. It's titled Richer Than I've Ever Been. Um, you know, I'm excited. The streets is, you know, anticipating it. And I'm finna get ready and deliver it to them in, uh, real soon. I'm gonna release a single in the next two weeks. Um, me and Drake just collaborated on his latest project. That's receiving a lot of love. And um, I can't wait to give him another classic from the biggest boss. <laughs> Richer than I ever been. <laughs> I, I had to write down when you said three comma club. I didn't even know what you were talking about, man. I'm, I've still got one <laughs> comma next to my name. Oh, see, uh -oh. that's just ding, ding, ding for right? me <laughs> See? Just that moment. <laughs> You're talking to two broke folks here, man. <laughs> oh, the three comma club. Yes. But Rick, Rick, you got so much going on. Is music still bringing you your biggest paycheck? Or do you have so many other things going on now that, that the money's coming in from, from other places? Um, no, it's not. No. Music is not my most valuable asset wow. at this point. Is it what I still have the most love and passion for? It is. But... I'm currently in 20 different partnerships, and a lot of them are extremely successful. So um, I think it's a good position to be in.
Yeah, richer than I've ever been. <laughs> I'd like to be in that position, too. And now I know I don't have to look up the Three Comma Club when I go to Atlanta to find a good time. All right. <laughs> the perfect way to boss up a hustler's guide to building your empire is available now everywhere books are sold. Rick Ross, it is always a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you for being with us and enjoy your second glass, which I'm sure is coming. Thank you for having me, most definitely. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.